Hey Taurus, what is up? I hope everything is going well for everybody. So this is going to be your general love reading for mid-October to the end of October 2021. It's going to be general, so it's not going to be for everybody, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. You can find all that information in the description box. Right. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I just have the Twin Flame card flip over. All right, well, let's see, Taurus, what is going on? <clears throat> first half, sorry, not the first half, second half of October, we have pause. Okay, so I do feel like this is going to be an intense connection um, because I did have that Twin Flame card flip itself over and show itself to me. But we also have pause, so I feel like you are probably in a state of where things just feel like they're at a standstill or maybe you're just taking a break or you're taking a pause from this connection, from life or from, you know, whatever it is that has been going on. And if it's not you, it could be the other person. So let's see. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, second half of October, 2021, what is going on here? Why do we have this pause? <clears throat> also, the rules can be reversed, okay, for, for general readings. All right, so I'm going to get all of them. And then I will explain. All right, Taurus. So for the situation here, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse crossed by the Ten of Wands. Okay, so somebody here is feeling like things are just um, not working out. And I feel like this this idea of things moving forward in a new path or in some kind of a direction in the 3D where it feels like things can actually come together and manifest. Um, somebody is tired of waiting for that to happen and it's not happening. <clears throat> so it feels like it's almost like a giving up kind of an energy is what I'm getting here to this. So I feel like that's what this pause is about. It just feels like it was too much um, to handle when it came to things just not moving forward anymore. And so it's like, you're just kind of, okay, you know what, let me just take a break. Could be you, could be your person. Um, in the recent past, we have the five of wands. <clears throat> so some conflict possibly, possibly interference also from other people. Um, I don't usually focus much on the past energy, but we'll see, I might clarify this one. For your energy, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. There is someone here in your life that you're feeling a lot of love for. A lot of love. Um, it could be though that you are exerting your energy to other things as well though like not giving everything to this to this connection we'll see because like i said i also feel like there's this giving up almost so we'll see what that's about for them we have the sun in reverse and the four of swords in reverse okay so we do have leo showing up here um, i feel like this person at the moment is feeling very depressed um, very unhappy because they have not been able to fully recover from from this connection or from what it is that has happened here again i do feel like you are in some kind of a separation because there is this pause and if it's not a, like separation <clears throat> with the definition of that word it's some kind of a break and this person is not um not happy about this okay i do see also um an ending here though coming up in the in the near future could be referring to a transformation or an ending of a particular aspect in this connection. So we'll see. Sometimes there needs to be an ending before things can um, start start again new. So I do see some kind of a giving up here um, on somebody's end at least. Okay, And for the potential outcome here, we do have the three of pentacles. So there is some effort that is coming back into the picture here. Okay, so that's definitely a possibility. Let's clarify and see what's going on here. All 
All right, so let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Wands. But yeah, somebody's tired of, of things just not moving forward, of not happening. All right, the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. I also had one more flip over, which is the Seven of Cups, so I will take it. It came out like right great at the last minute. <clears throat> like in a very timid kind of a way. Um, okay, so clarifying, we have the tower in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. I think, did I call them out? Not sure. Um, okay, I see. So the reason why things are not moving forward is because somebody is resisting a tower. There's a tower that needs to come down. That means that there's a major, major shift that needs to take place. There is a major destruction of something that needs to happen in order for this Ace of Pentacles to actually be able to take form, in order for it to actually appear back into the potential. But because somebody has been avoiding this tower, which is actually going against their intuition, right? It's going against what they truly feel here. That's why there's this sense of it being so hard. It's like the more this person resists the tower, the harder it feels. Because it's like holding that tower up on your shoulders. And like the longer you do that, the heavier it gets. The more difficult it is to hold it up. Especially once that tower is beginning to destruct slowly but surely. But you're still trying to, to hold it up. And the more that it destructs, the more unstable it gets, the more difficult it is to balance that tower on your shoulders. Okay, so I don't know whose energy this is. I'm kind of getting that it might be yours, um, but it definitely could be the other person. And I feel like whatever this tower is that you're trying to hold together, it is. it could be another commitment. It could be um, a marriage even. It could be just anything that you've been holding on to for a long time, something that has felt like you know, like a completion in your life, basically, when it comes to your material world. So it could even be a career. Um, not even just a job, but like a career. Like, I feel like it's that big of, of a um, structure here that's in your life. And that has been preventing you from moving forward in some kind of a path here or from, you know, moving towards love to the point where you're just tired of holding up that tower. And so it's it's kind of like... You're still resisting the tower falling down, but you also don't want to hold it. And so it's almost like you're you're giving up on even allowing it to fall at all. But that's not always going to be under your control. Um, yeah, and with the Seven of Cups here, I feel like this is creating a lot of confusion for you. And so you're just at this pause right now where you're like, okay, you know what? I just don't want to do anything. I don't even want to hold the tower. I don't want to let it drop. I just don't want to do anything. So let me see that five of wands, which is in the recent past. Okay, we have the eight of pentacles in reverse and the nine of cups. So there's been a lot of um, conflict here in the past, possibly between you and this person or even just for one of you within their own self. And I feel like this has to do with <clears throat> somebody not putting in that effort to go going towards what they want. So whoever it is that has not been focused on what it is that they truly feel, which I do feel is the same person that we've been talking about here in the main situation, that's creating a lot of conflict in this person's life. Um, but it's almost coming in as like this, it's creating like this, um, like a battlefield in their minds. Again, not wanting to hold up that tower, but not wanting it to fall either. So let's see the Six of Pentacles, which is in your energy. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse and Justice in reverse. Okay, so I, I do feel like you're trying to bring things into balance, okay? Whatever it is that is not in balance, okay? Um, but I feel like the way, it's like the way that you're going about it is not being focused enough on one 
particular aspect of this, of whatever it is that you're trying to do, just like we have this Eight of Pentacles here in reverse in, in, the, in the recent past. So it feels like you're trying to bring balance for past decisions possibly that you've made. But again, it's like the, the energy that you're putting into trying to find this balance, like you're not giving 100% there. It's like it's scattered. It's like you're giving a little bit, but then you're giving a little bit in the opposite direction. I feel like it's just, it's not really consistent. And that's because you're feeling some kind of a restlessness. Almost like you wish that there was, and now I'm seeing the Seven of Cups here. Um, it's almost like you wish that there was another way to do this. And because you don't, the, the way that this has to be done, and you know it, is it's not very comfortable. And so you kind of do it and then you kind of don't do it. Wishing that there was just another way, but if another, if another way is not presenting itself to you at the moment. That's what I'm getting here. Um, and it could be about anything, okay? Like everybody's situation is going to be, it's going to be different. Let me see this Ace of Cups. Nine of Wands in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, and the Four of Wands. Okay. There is somebody here that you feel like you belong with. Um, I feel like you feel like this is your person. You feel like this is just, you know, this is um, a person that you could even be married to or could marry or, you know, potentially be with long term. You feel a sense of home with this person. I feel like this person brings you a sense of comfort, okay? There's a lot of love here, but it's almost coming in like like you're you're giving up on this on this situation. And I'm not judging that whether that is the right thing to do or not. Um but I'm getting the sense that you're you're kind of giving up, but this giving up energy, I feel like it's kind of going against what you what you truly feel. Or there's something about this giving up where it's happening in a way where it's it's not a hundred percent in alignment with your with your true self. And of course, I, I would never encourage anybody to be in a relationship or to, you know, um, pursue somebody that's not good for them. I'm not saying that. Okay, just reading the energy here. It could be just the way that you are going about um, giving up. Okay, it could be. Maybe that's what the Six of Pentacles is about. I don't know. You you um, have to follow your own intuition and just take what resonates with you. So let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the sun in reverse. And again, roles can be reversed. Okay, so for the sun in reverse, we have the Three of Pentacles and the star in reverse. Okay, yeah, this person is depressed because they're they're possibly picking up on your vibe of um, giving up on love because I do feel like this is a person who wants to who wants to be with you. This is somebody who does feel like they could be really happy with you, but and they're depressed at the moment because of this pause or because of, there's this resistance to this tower. It could even be, for example, that this tower, um, it could even it could even be a set of beliefs for some of you, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be like a career or another commitment. It can even just be the way that you think about a certain situation, okay? Just as a side note there. So this person here, I feel like they're, they're in the process almost of giving up. I feel like this is somebody who would really, at the moment, would need some kind of interaction from you or just to feel a sense of like something is mutual here, <laughs> that the feelings are mutual in order for them to, to have this, to have this hope. But then again, you know, there could be a reason why, you know, they're not, 
they're meant to not have this hope. But I feel like, yeah, this person, this is definitely something that they feel what would have been a wish come true for them to be in this relationship, in a connection with you for things to work out. But they're losing hope as well. They feel like that's just not possible unless, unless there's something that you do as well. Almost like they're waiting on you um, to put in your, your share of the effort here in some direction. Let's see the four of swords for them in reverse. The three of wands in reverse, the ten of cups, and the king of cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, th this person does feel a lot of love for you, right? It's being confirmed right here with this ten of cups and the king of cups. Um, their things to have not worked out in the way that they expected. They feel like their ships are never going to come in. They're not over it. They're still um, trying to process it. I don't feel like they have come to terms with that. Um, but they are losing hope and they are still, still feeling this love. They would still want this with you. They are just not expecting that you are going to come around. So let's see death for what is coming up. Way too many, let's just take the first three. All right, we have the Hanged Man in reverse, we have the Six of Wands in reverse, and we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. What is this here, Taurus? Okay, I'll take just one more because it's like, it's like flipped over so I can see it and it's just like really calling to me. It's the Eight of Wands. Um, I feel like this is a huge transformation that is coming up for you. I feel like this is actually you allowing something to end here, a processing, an ending. And I'm not sure if it's that tower that you want to fall, to be honest. Um, I actually feel like it's you... Um, Allowing just this whole situation to to end, like to, to just really process and feel what it would feel like for this connection with this person that holds the, these emotions for you to be to be done. I feel like that this is something that you are actually wanting to experience. And actually what I'm seeing here is that, you know, um, that's actually going to move you forward. It's going to move you forward. It's not clear whether it's going to move you forward back towards this person or if it's going to just move you forward in general in your life. But whatever the case, it is going to move you forward in a very positive direction, okay? Whether it be to this person or not. Because I feel like this ending, it's actually, um, it's coming with a sense of I have been stuck. I have been stuck and that that stuckness is not, it's not successful. It's not giving me victory. It's not giving me what I want. And it's like you're putting an end to that. Even if that means, you know, um, ending a situation where, you know, you were fully committed. That is moving you forward. Okay, because it could be the other connection here or the other situation here. For some of you, it could be actually ending multiple things. Possibly um, bringing, bringing an ending to both, both to the tower, you know, allowing that tower to fall possibly, and at the same time also um, processing an ending with, with this person here. For some of you, it's going to be one and the same. That's, that's okay too, take it as it resonates. So let's see that Three of Pentacles for the potential outcome because I feel like once this ending is processed it's actually moving you in a very positive direction here and i do see some kind of effort being put in um all right we have the knight of wands in reverse and the world in reverse i actually do want to get one more yeah and the two of swords in reverse okay so this is um this energy is coming in as tying up loose ends Tying up loose ends here or um, 
finding some closure in something that was not closed out, but together. So this is like teamwork. This is like being able to meet the other person halfway. So I feel like there's actually going to be like this, um, it's like this six of pentacles that you were kind of like aiming for here, but wasn't really like working out. I feel like it's actually coming in the picture here as the potential outcome, like you and this person working together to see what it is that has been left unfinished. What is that unfinished business? You know, let's not stagnate on that anymore. So what that could um, even be um, communication, like just talking about things. It could be finding resolutions. It could be meeting up. Or maybe, you know, if you're already like living together, for example, it's really just resolving certain issues that had been left hanging that were not complete, even with this Knight of Wands in reverse, like things that were like in and out and just like left up in the air. You're both meeting halfway now to kind of figure something out. Okay, but that's coming after this ending, after a transformation here. All right, Taurus, let's see. Final message for Taurus, if this resonated. All right, and we have the full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Yeah, so I don't really feel like this message um, came through so much in the reading, um, but it does actually fit. It does actually fit because I feel like, you know, part of the reason why you might be resisting some kind of tower, sometimes it's because we just don't feel good enough or we don't feel confident in what might come afterwards or if we have what it takes to put in this effort. You know, what we have to offer, is that worthy? So the message for you here, I feel like this is like a, um, a complimentary message to this reading, is that you are good enough. You are good enough for what it is that you, that you want. You are good enough for this Nine of Cups that you are not putting effort towards. All right, Taurus, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.